H3OH as methanol, wants to know if this is an acid or a base. Most students are going to look at this and say it's a base and be actually totally wrong because bases have a metal connected to an OH. So this is a base. That would be a base. Examples would be sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, strontium, barium hydroxide, all those would be bases. And that's because it donates the hydroxide, which is the definition of a base. And But students will think, oh, I see a yeah, hydroxide there. It's actually technically not a hydroxide group. So if this is not a metal, more specifically, like in this example, this is organic. Organic means having carbons and hydrogens on it. It's actually not a base. It's actually going to turn out to be an acid. And uh, it's hard to explain in 2A why that's true. But once you get to 2B, and definitely in OCHEM, you'll see why that's true. The main reason is it, when it, it doesn't lose the OH, it loses just the hydrogen. If it lose the, lost the OH, you'd break the octet for carbon, and it'd just be extremely unstable. So, but losing the H, you can maintain the octet and, and be able to donate the H. Is that all right? So, bases that have hydroxides will have a metal on it. Really, there's one exception, you might say. It's the ammonium hydroxide. This is a base as well. Uh, this ammonium is, is, happens to be ionic. So that'll be a base. But otherwise, uh, a base is going to have a metal on it. And then acid, if there's organics connected to OH, it's, it's acidic.